This is for 3D. I'm using 3D Studio Max 9. Um, the problem that most people face when they throw a light into their scene like this one and then they have a ground plane where they want a shadow is that when you render out your product you get something like this where the ground plane doesn't seem to blend into the background and a lot of time people try to make like an infinity wall where it curves up and goes backwards so that you don't see this division but there's a really easy way to get around this. Um, here on the ground plane we have a normal texture which is this white right here which is causing it to receive the shadow. Um, the easiest way to get around that plane showing up back here is to just under a new material where it says standard pick matte slash shadow and then make sure received shadows is checked and if you put that material on your plane then when you render it out what that does is it knocks out the plane but leaves the shadow allowing you to put whatever you want in your background for a production render of some kind like right here there's a gradient and you can see it kept the shadow but it deleted the plane so there you go the matte slash shadow option I mean there's lots of different things in here but that's the easiest way to use it to knock out that background plane hope it was helpful